In this video, we're going to show you how to install the water pump on your Jeep Grand Cherokee located on the front side of your engine. Now we have a 15 millimeter socket on our tensioner pulley here. We want to go ahead and use our ratchet, pull up on this and release that serpentine belt. Before we drain the coolant, let's go ahead and open up our radiator cap. Pop that off. On the driver's side little portion of our radiator, we're gonna find our drain here. I wanna grab that and we have a catch can underneath. We're gonna twist this counterclockwise. And we should start to get some coolant out of here. Now that the system is pretty much done draining, I'm gonna go ahead and close up that drain plug here, turn it clockwise, thread it in all the way, and snug that down. Get to remove your belt. Use a 13 millimeter socket on your ratchet. We're gonna use a deep socket. You wanna loosen and remove the bolt on the center of the tensioner here. And then we'll go ahead and remove the entire tensioner with that idler pulley. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now I want to go down and remove the bolts securing our original water pump. There's going to be a series of eight bolts going around the perimeter. So you're going to go ahead and get down there with your deep sockets and your ratchet, loosen and remove those bolts. We do have a catch can underneath to catch any residual coolant that is in the motor that will leak out. So you want to go ahead and capture that and be prepared to do that. And what I'm going to do is go around the perimeter and we'll loosen these first. Now I went ahead and I made a template here because all of our bolts or a bunch of the bolts are different sizes. So I simply took the new water pump. I set it up on here and I did a little tracing on there. Then I took a screwdriver and I just punched a hole in the cardboard and I'm putting my bolts in and the corresponding locations where they need to go. All right, got our last bolt out. I'm gonna go ahead and set that over here. You can put it wherever you want. Now we just need to go ahead and pull the water pump out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work it up underneath our AC condenser or compressor here and just kind of flex it up underneath this hose here, working that up and out. Now you wanna pay attention to how you're doing this because we need to get the original part or the new part back in. Now around the perimeter on the front side of the block here, 
there is a bunch of corrosion and garbage on here. We need to clean this and get it down to the aluminum before we install our new water pump. So I'm gonna use some spray solvent on a rag to start with and start to go around the perimeter, cleaning up as much as I can. Now that we have a bunch of the big nuggets of corrosion cleaned off there, I'm gonna go on to the next stage. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a block of wood. Now we know that the wood is flat and we wrapped it in some sandpaper. Now this here is a 400 grit sandpaper. And the reason why we're doing this here is we wanna have a good enough size surface of flat wood so we can go ahead and start to rub it on the front side of the block, scaling down the corrosion on there. And we wanna prevent from causing any grooves or nicks in that aluminum. So go ahead, get on in there and start working that down, keeping that block nice and flush. And we're gonna do this all the way around the perimeter, cleaning all that corrosion. Now that we have that all cleaned up, we have our rag with some spray solvent again, and we're back at it, just trying to wipe down any of the old sanding debris. Just preparing that surface for a new water pump and gasket. Now we have our new water pump here and we have the gasket. Now there's a tab on the gasket and it will line up with a notch here. And then the curves in the gasket, they're actually molded into it. So it'll take form and line up as you put this in. Now you're gonna line up that tab and push it in and work your way around the perimeter. There's one more tab right here that'll line up. Press that in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a small little pocket screwdriver here. And I'm just gonna make sure that those tabs are pressed in and fully seated. Let's go ahead and feed this down behind our AC hose here and get this placed. On the front of our water pump here, we're just gonna pop off this rubber cap. And let's go ahead and feed this down. And once you have that fit down inside there, just do another visual inspection. Make sure your gasket is fully seated. Go ahead and work the water pump over and in a position. And I just put one bolt in to hold the water pump in place. I'm gonna to continue to install the rest of our bolts. Now that we have all the bolts start a few threads, I'm gonna come on back and I'm gonna go ahead and snug these down. I'm not gonna tighten them, we just wanna basically bottom them out. Now we're gonna go ahead and torque down our water pump bolts to 43 foot-pounds. Follow the pattern on the screen that we have there for you. All 
on the back of our tensioner here, there's a notch right here. There's actually a bolt head that is gonna fit into this here. So it's gonna line up just like this here. Go ahead and feed that down. We'll get that lined up and then we'll install the bolt in the middle. Let's go ahead and snug that bolt in. Once we have that seated, I'm gonna pop our ratchet on there. And our goal here is just to make that good and snug. That's good there. Let's go ahead and install your serpentine belt. Make sure it's wrapped around all the pulleys accordingly. Then we'll put our ratchet on our tensioner. that tensioner. You want to make sure that that belt is on all of your pulleys completely. Line everything up. Make sure the belt is in all of the ribs and everything looks good at this point here. Let's go ahead and top off our radiator. So we'll go ahead and remove our cap. Set that aside. And go ahead and set up your funnel I'm gonna go ahead and fill up our radiator with the manufacturer specified coolant. Now at this point here, our radiator is filled up to the top of the neck here. We're gonna remove our fill, uh, filler here or you can remove your funnel. Install your radiator cap. Make sure that's fully seated. Now the next thing we wanna do is come on over to our expansion tank. Go ahead and lift up on this here. And we're gonna use our funnel and fill this up. Now on this side of the expansion tank, there is a mark that says full. So we're going to go ahead and fill up our expansion tank to that full line. Now, once you have that expansion tank filled up to the full mark, you can go ahead and remove that funnel and close it up. You now want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, let it warm up. Let it run for 10 to 15 minutes, let that thermostat open, and let that engine take in the coolant as necessary, and then add a coolant here to the expansion tank as needed. You can also go for a test drive and do the same thing. You never want to open up the radiator cap while that vehicle is running or hot. You always want to fill through the expansion tank. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.